hello 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 and welcome back to another video in today's video i'm going to be starting with my decorations um pulling out decor christmas decor that is and the first place i'm going to start is this entryway so as you can see i am like focused in on this console table sofa table whatever you want to call it like this horseshoe um console table and you may notice that i have an addition to the entryway i put this huge mirror up that i've had for months now got it from world market this thing is humongous it, it is 46 inches wide and it's a circular mirror that has like this gold rim around it very beautiful mirror i need to wipe it off a little bit i call myself wiping it off last night with some windex or some glass cleaner um, but I was I did not do a good job, but I am going to do that today again because it's a little dirty. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to decorate this mirror some kind of way and also this console table. I'm even going to incorporate some decor on these doors here, which leads to my office. And just so you all get a sneak peek of what I have, the Christmas decor, all this stuff came out of the basement. Guys, this is a lot. And my husband said, there is no way you are going to be able to put this stuff everywhere. And I said, hmm, I think I will. Uh, because although it looks like a lot, once I started decorating the house, the different rooms, like the bathrooms, bedrooms, the kitchen, the living room, the den, my office, the entryway, I'm going to be using a lot of this decor. Um, I may not use all of it, um, but at least I have a lot of decor. And I'll just kind of bring you all up close so you can see some of the items that I have, these are just random items. And some of this stuff, I, it's not really even Christmas decor. It's just items that I may have had that are kind of sitting around. Like, for example, um, these lanterns that I got from, where I got those from, from Target um, several months ago. But yeah, so I figured that I would start with the entryway. It is like the first place for guests that are coming through the house it's like the first place that they see so i figured this would be the best place to start with all of my christmas christmas decor and some of the items i'm going to use are new and i'll point those out to you and some things i've had for a couple of years are about last season because majority of this stuff that you see on this table i bought off season like i would say off season but maybe a couple of days or a week or two after Christmas, um, you know, when they have like the steep, steep discounts, um, what 70, 80, 90% off. So I got a, these things. It was like a really good deal. I would say like a, a really good bargain. You can tell that I was really trying to store my Christmas items. I use the, um, the box that comes with the car seat. Yeah. That's how it, serious i was about storing my christmas decor but let's go ahead and just hop into this video so you all can see exactly how i am going to decorate um the entryway so my first priority is to clean this mirror because there's a lot of smudges on here i'm gonna move this table out of the way too It's really pretty garland. It's like a white garland. Let me see if it has a name on it. It just says white flocked um, garland. I think it's supposed to be like cedar. That's the, um, the type of garland it's supposed to be. I think they have this in like regular green, but it's sold out. It's sold out online. It's sold out in the store, but I wanted something different and I 
was hoping I could put this, I could frame like the mirror with it. Let me show you all what I'm talking about. I don't know if y'all can see that from that angle. Let me show you from this angle. I was hoping to frame the mirror, but once I started thinking about it, I said to myself that I may want to have this um, on the actual console table. So my other alternative was to um, put up a wreath. Let me show you. Uh, and by the way, I got that garland from Kirkland's. I don't know if I mentioned it or not. And I got this wreath from, where did I get this wreath from? Um, Big Lots. I got this from Big Lots at the end of the year last year. And this thing was super inexpensive. I may have paid $5 for it. I mean, it was not that expensive at all. So I thought this was really pretty. Um, and I'm going to hang this up on the mirror. I may use a command strip, but I'm gonna see if I can just kind of bootleg this behind the mirror. You may see the string. If you do, I'll probably fix it later, or maybe I won't, I don't know, depending on if I'm just feeling like I wanna put in some work. But I thought this would be really pretty um, right there in front of the mirror. So let's see what that looks like. And I have sequences falling everywhere. This thing has sequence and glitter everywhere, all right? All right, so that's what we're looking like. I may need to bring it over just a little bit. Let me go over here so you can see. I know, I think it's centered. It may be centered. All right, so we have our wreath up and let's go ahead and get to the console table. So I'm gonna, I guess I still have a tag on there. I need to see if I like it or not. But I am going to drape this. Let me move this behind. And eventually the tag won't be there if I decide to keep this. Really pretty, pretty garland. And I actually purchased two because I envision either having them on both sides of the mirror, which I kind of nixed that idea, but I figured that I could have um, the garland kind of cascade into one side. So I am going to do that. I'm trying to cover, cover up the stem as well. But this is a very different garland, something that's kind of out of the box for me because I typically wouldn't go with something that's frosted like this. Like I wouldn't ordinarily like decorate with like a white Christmas tree. So, but when I saw this, I felt that it was really pretty and definitely unique. And for the four year, I did want to go with something that was more neutral. So this is what it's looking like. I need to go in and manipulate these just a little bit more. But once I start to put more decor up here, it won't be um, as obvious, right? All right, so let me go ahead and just start putting things up. I think I wanna do like trees. Um, I was thinking about doing a deer, but I have a deer, actually this deer right here, um, cause I'm sticking with this neutral 
very white gold silver theme uh, the frame right here that garden looks horrible <laughs> but we're gonna work for we, we're gonna fix it it's gonna look much better once i start to play with it a little bit so let me fix this and then add in some trees and i will be back before I move on, I wanted to show you all what I did. I added in some garland that I have, uh, or had rather, had, I don't know how long I've had this, but it was already in my inventory. I think I got this maybe from Walmart. I don't know, it's, it was either last year or a couple of years ago. And so it brings in like the silver, gold and white that is in this which is that wreath and then i also have like these pine cones that are very sparkly and shiny they kind of put me in the mind of like a champagne so it's not silver it's not gold it's more champagne so i added those pine cones and i had like one loose one so i added it there so hopefully this is going to start to look just a little bit better the only thing about this garland is i mean it is flexible but it's starting to look kind of crazy i'm gonna say it's starting to look kind of crazy but it's not looking as i envisioned it um so let's see what it looks like once i put um like those trees on there because i had an idea in my mind of having like a christmas tree forest and as i stand back it looks cuter and cuter. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what it looks like. So I really like the Christmas tree forest. I think that looks really pretty. And I like that there are different heights and different types of Christmas trees. So that is looking really nice. And I think the only thing is missing is maybe something to go up under the console table. So I am going to be right back. Let me, look, let me go in my stash over here and figure out, oh, let me turn this too. It has this, it's on here. <laughs> so it has a sticker on there. Well, yeah, let me go on my Christmas stash, my inventory and see what I have and what I can put up on this console table. I'll be right back. As you can see, I added like these little gift boxes. I got these from Kirkland's this season so they probably still happen if i can find them i'll link them below i think online they sell them as a set of three but i was able to purchase them individually and i've added this deer which i got from bit lots two three seasons ago they always change up their collection every year so i'm not sure if this well i haven't seen it so i don't think this is still available anymore let me just bring you a little bit closer so you can see what it looks like and these boxes really pretty like kind of looks like wire or yarn um and it has sequins on there and then like these glittery bows very pretty and this christmas tree came from target last year cb2 last year target last year big lots this tree cb2 target last year are that big lot trees from a couple of years ago and that's from cb2 like those christmas tree or these christmas trees right here that came from cb2 um, very minimalistic um, but they were about 80 percent off when i purchased them um, i actually have some more too they're like an iridescent like a white iridescent real pretty but i felt like it was a steal when i got i got them from like a couple of bucks or so um and i knew i would use them eventually but yeah i like those so i have a few more 
of the white iridescent that I can't wait to use somewhere in the house. But I think that looks really good. There is one thing that I messed up on, right? Because I want, I wanted to go ahead and hang this, the, these wreaths. These are the wreaths I got from TJ Maxx. I have garland like this too. I used that garland at my party, but it's more like a Christmassy garland, but you can use it year round. I know I have, but I put the hooks too close together. I put them there and I should have placed them say right here. So I'm going to, you see the hooks right there. I am going to have to move those over and I will show you what those look like once they are moved to the correct place. Because as you can see, the door doesn't close because the wreaths are hitting each other, which is unfortunate. But yeah, so that is what this looks like. Hopefully you all like that. And I'll come back in maybe a couple of hours. I mean, you won't know the difference, <laughs> but it may be a couple of hours or so. And there's Kylie. Kylie, wanna say hello? <laughs> um, so it may be a couple of hours or so because I have to let this kind of take it off and then add another one to it. So you'll see what it looks like, but hopefully it'll look good. And I, I'm glad that I went ahead and put it up because I thought like, is it going to be competing? You know, the, these wreaths over here with this wreath, but I think it looks fine. I mean, I'm going to keep those wreaths up year round though. They look actually, they look really pretty. All right, so I'll be back to show you all what that looks like. Okay, so I reposition the um, the wreaths, like these crystal wreaths. You can see I still have <laughs> the hooks up there from earlier. I like I like it, but I probably should have instead instead of putting the hook here, maybe I should have put it there and here to bring it in just a little bit. But then I was afraid it was still going to be too close. So I'm going to live with this like this for, you know, a couple of days and see how I like it. And then if I don't like it, then I'll just change them out. But I think that's going to be it for the video today. I hope you all enjoyed it. This is the entryway. This is the setup. This is the vibe for Christmas for the most part. Um, there are other videos to follow, so stay tuned, and I will see you all next week. Goodbye.